Kuntin Sathya, do you really think that the Election Commission wants to not endorse Kun Jing Lak for some political reasons? Because, you know, inevitably, some red shirt people presume that some invisible hand is at work again on this case. Mm -hmm. Well, the latest we have checked that the mood is very really optimistic. Okay. It, um, mm -hmm. That is, um, that sentiment has been boosted by mm -hmm. the latest uh, statement from the EC that um, uh, it cannot disclose the details mm -hmm. of the charges against the suspended uh, mm -hmm. candidates because some of those candidates could be set free next week. Could be endorsed officially. Could be endorsed next week. So there are a lot of people who take this as a good um, mm -hmm. promising mm -hmm. sign mm -hmm. from the EC itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people at the Puya Thai camp that we have been talking to also express op optimism about Kun Ying mm -hmm. being finally mm -hmm. endorsed mm -hmm. by the EC. Finally, you mean next week or the week after? Well, uh, they still have... Uh, uh, July uh, 28 mm -hmm. at the latest mm -hmm. deadline for the EC to to endorse all the uh, winning candidates. Mm -hmm. So, uh, supposing, but of course, if the EC cannot uh, did, uh, does not endorse Kun Jing Lak next, next week, it would be a, lot, a, real a big of, storm coming yeah, up. A big storm coming up. Uh, there will be a lot of speculation that this could be real. Mm -hmm. At the moment, a lot of people is uh, are still taking the EC move mm -hmm. as a matter of formality at the mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. But my own conclusion is that the Election Commission has done this, meaning has not endorsed Kun Jing Lak and Kun Apisit for the very simple reason that they don't want to be sued in the future for having not done the proper job of screening complaints. Yeah. There is an article in the Constitution 157, the infamous mm -hmm. 157, mm -hmm. which says that any government official mm -hmm. or cabinet member mm -hmm. who fails to perform its duty, mm -hmm. his duty is punishable mm -hmm. by law. Yes. Meaning that if you have been found negligent right. or not doing what you are supposed to do, then you are in trouble right. le legally. I agree with that. Uh, only one, one, one possible argument against that is that the EC had never before done this against uh, party list candidates. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that also could be explained. Mm -hmm. Kun uh, uh during her campaign, she, mm -hmm. unlike other party list candidates, she had to mm -hmm. lead the the campaign of the Pure Thai Party, and she had to involve herself in so many mm -hmm. um, controversial mm -hmm. things during mm -hmm. the campaign. So it was natural that after the election, someone would come up to the EC and lodge mm -hmm. complaints mm -hmm. against her. Mm -hmm. Well, then we can hope to see a lot of action next week after mm -hmm. the EC endorses the next round of MPs. Yes, we, uh, a lot of people uh, uh, to the 16 uh, winners mm -hmm. that have been that have not been endorsed, we we've talked to some of them. Then, mm -hmm. interestingly, uh, a lot of them they still don't know what the charges against them are. <laughs> yeah, and because the complaints were lodged privately with the EC. Right. That 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 leads us to believe that uh, it could be a matter of formality. Mm -hmm. The serious thing will happen next week if the EC uh, still does not uh, endorse anyone. Mm -hmm. That person could be uh, really worried. So now you see that it is true that there is never a down moment in Thai politics.